indigenous or non-indigenous, all kids, all people learn and thrive best in the outdoors and on the land. Each year, more than 35,000 First Nations, Inuit and Métis youth in 200 communities across the country benefit from Actua's National Indigenous Youth in STEM program. It teaches science, technology, engineering and mathematics through school workshops and summer camp programs, all led by Indigenous instructors. Being out um, on the land, solving problems, learning for themselves, working in groups. But this summer, changes have been made to ensure this unique partnership of learning can continue. How important was it to make sure that this kept going this year? Because of the critical need to engage more Indigenous youth in formal STEM uh, uh, study paths and, and careers. Um, in the case of our Indigenous community partners, we've been consulting with them to figure out what works best. So sometimes that's a kit of STEM activities um, and other times we're working to facilitate uh, technology getting into the hands of some of these youth that, that really need that tech to be able to connect. And this STEM teaching stems literally from the land-based learning of the Indigenous communities. We work from the premise that Indigenous people have always known about STEM. So rather than us trying to, say, impose or overlay uh, Western STEM concepts or, or ideas, we look to community elders first to see what their local say aspects of culture, our harvesting cycles, those, what is their local relationship to the land? And then we work to develop the content with the member program, university or college, um, to develop specific content that relates to their region. Say with fish, uh, you know, we can take, we can harvest fish um, based on those fish cycles. So they, they would learn from the elders what those fish cycles are. At the same time, we would have developed a, um, you know, a, a water monitoring piece or a, um, a biology, fish biology component that would support those two sets of knowledges being learned simultaneously. What kind of reaction do you get from the students who kind of have that validation now that what they have and how they have been learning is is valuable? It, it's It's actually, you have to observe it to see it or to, to, to really understand it, but, but everybody has an opportunity to contribute and it becomes a community environment as opposed to an individual environment that is typically found in the classroom. For information on how to join these programs, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.